Hey gang, I just wanted to wish you all very happy Thanksgiving from News Now, Ukaipa, and family. And I hope that you're enjoying a lot of food, enjoying time with family, eat a lot. But I hope also that you're enjoying football. Let's talk about that for a second. You might see me tonight, knock on wood. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm getting ready to go spend time with the family, getting ready to eat a lot of food. But I did watch the Bears and Detroit Lions today. I want to know how many of you watched the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions game. Oh my God, what a freaking game, man. Um, I'm going to go through that real quick with you. Now, I don't remember the players that were involved because I had my glasses off and I was getting, I had to get in the shower. There was like a minute and 21 seconds left. The Lions were down 16 to 22. I don't know if I gave you the score. The Bears were up by six points. Now, I don't remember what yard line they were on or anything. Because, again, I had my glasses on. I was just watching fuzzy players on the field, listening to the crowd noise. But the Lions were here getting ready to go into the end zone. This is what we call the red zone. They were within the side the 20-yard line, maybe 15. I don't know. I don't remember what exact yard line. But they were in the red zone, for all you football fans. The Bears were defending the Lions right here. And I put Bears and Lions for people that may not be football savvy. Have to keep it kind of, you know, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. So, so here we go. So I did see the last play. Now, 16 to 22, the Lions are here. If they score, they will beat the Bears at least 16 to 23. Defender goes out. He runs the route here. He's kind of running in a circle into the end zone there. Let's make sure I can see it. The Bears defender followed him through and came up here where the Bears defender intercepted the ball right there in the corner of the end zone. So again, the offense running his route kind of curvy up into the corner of the end zone. The Bears defender came up this way around ahead of him, picked the ball off there. Uh, interception in the end zone. Lions lose 16 to 22. That's game. Uh, they did try to get it back. They tried to have the Bears do a three and out so that they get the ball back. Unfortunately, the Lions defense wasn't able to hold them. They got a first down with 59, 58, whatever it was, seconds left in the game. That's it. All you got to do is a kneel down. Hut! Boom! Hut! Boom! All right, the Bears win over the Lions. Lions, you threw it away. Matt Stafford, you ought to be slapped for that interception. You guys had a chance to win. You were this close to the end zone, and you didn't make it because the Bears' defense was able to get up there and pick it off. News now, you type a happy Thanksgiving. I will see you guys later, maybe later today, maybe later tonight. Hopefully, definitely tonight. Well, we don't know. Hopefully not, right? Hopefully there's no DUI drivers out there. But it is Thanksgiving, and News Now Yukaipa does have something in his heart that he feels he has to do to make sure everybody is treated equally. Except Matt Stafford, because he threw an interception in the end zone on Thanksgiving Day.